another night, another show. I am about to um, go on the air in about two minutes here. I've got some writing done today. Experienced this freezing cold out here. I'm honestly tired as hey, but I know after this show, I got to log a few more words. So we're going to give it all we got <laughs> this night. And uh, oh, hope for the best with these word counts. So we'll catch y'all after this show. So I just finished um, the show. It was really good. I enjoyed it. I had a good time tonight. This was a really fun, um, fun broadcast. The program director, Amy Up, said it was a pretty good show. So always uh, good to hear you're doing a good job. So <laughs> if I could translate some of this um, good vibes, good energy into these words tonight, that would be great. I don't really have a set word count for tonight. I'm just trying to get something logged. Um, I know 2000 is like my, let's make that my daily limit. But at this point, like I'm, I'm good. I feel like I'm further enough along. I'm still putting in the time to, uh, try and have this story done by the end of the month. That's the bigger overarching goal. We hoping, fingers crossed that that happens. Um, I have faith in me. So, <laughs> so though I'm not really worried about the word count, I'm still going to go and push myself as hard as I can. Uh, to get as much out now that I'm pretty much done for the week. I have a few podcasts lined up and then like a movie. I think that's it. All in all, good night, good broadcast, some good feedback. Um, if you want to listen, that'll be linked in the show notes too. It's every Tuesday. I am uh, 8 Central, 9 Eastern on the mic, talking my ish and playing some 90s. R&B and good vibes. So, get back into this writing. So, um, I'm from the Midwest, and I'm used to wild weather. Like in a matter of ten minutes or so, you could definitely have spring, summer, and fall. Uh, but being in the South, which I've been here, I've been in different cities and states in the South for years. But I will never get over how on a dime this weather changes to the point where it lulls you in with this false sense of hope that, oh, we'll have these 60, 70, 80 degree days forever. And then on the 12th day of Christmas, you get Christmas. So it is terrible. It is cold as hell. I am freezing. All of my clothes are wet. And this is just stepping outside to take the garbage out. <sighs> Stay warm, y'all. So it's the next day, the 25th. And needless to say, I logged like maybe five words last night. So after the um, broadcast, I started to going over my um, show for next week. So I normally do that out. Um, take a few notes and collect a couple songs and figure out the mood or the feel for the following week. And after doing that, I did read through some of my um, work in progress just to uh, pro honestly probably waste some time, <laughs> but I didn't log any um, substantial words, so I'll be trying to do that today. But one thing that I am realizing is that with me being so hyper-focused on trying to get these words in, get them down, and like progress in my goals, I don't want to overdo it. Uh, and a lot of times, you know, when you are tired and really just unable to do something versus you're just like maybe a little bit lazy. Don't you, you want you can, to you do, you, you want to take the road easiest travel <laughs> where you don't want to really do the work. And I think that's um, that's something I want to be aware of because I don't want to push myself so much that I get burnt out. I do want to get these words logged and I want to be more forgiving for myself because even with this deadline of the end of January, this is a self-imposed deadline. Nobody is telling me it needs to be done by then. It's just what I want. And I even put in that little buffer of February 3rd or 4th. I can't remember. I have to go back and watch whatever video that was, but I put in that buffer just on the off chance that I'm not done because though I've been logging these words, the story it's turning out to not necessarily be bigger than I thought, but the sheer 
skip no how do i put it so the story itself beginning middle and end is the same but there are certain parts where you get closer to the end of the second act and to the third act that need to be laid out in a way that makes the most sense and with this being the first run through like completely it matters but it doesn't matter as much it's not at the top of my list but i am still very cautious of that because i don't want to paint myself into a corner especially with the um the character who I mentioned earlier in a uh, previous video who was like kind of taking on a mind of their own. <laughs> it's like graduated from a side character to like a B plus almost A plot character. So I'm just working through all of that. But long story short, I'm being more forgiving to myself and giving myself more grace and um, logging all the words that I can and still shooting for the end of January. But got that buffer go of February, I'll just say 4th for right now. Um, how are you guys doing with your writing? What's going on with you? Are you hitting your targets? Are you also being overly critical of yourself? <laughs> Do you have that self-imposed deadline that's frustrating you, even though it's self-imposed and nobody told you it had to be out on that date? Um, let me know. So I'm going to get back to some writing and then, uh, maybe check back in in a little bit. something was just brought to my attention um i this story i am writing in scenes but i'm writing in days not in chapters um i'll probably go back and separate them in chapters after like later on but i have so i'm going day by day and i've been doing pretty good but there is a series of days um tuesday wednesday and the thursday and there's a big event that happens on wednesday that affects everyone what tell me what again i've been drafting this for a little over a year tell me why i have three main characters and i'm following their storyline because something told me just pull out the next couple days because i want to make sure i end every day in a way that sets up the next day out of the three characters, two of them are well accounted for throughout the whole three days. But then there's one who is a main character, by the way, where when I'm looking at this logically, this person is missing in action for a good bit. And it's like, I don't, I don't, what, like, that's a blind, I don't know how we got here, but it's easy to be fixed. But I'm so glad that I didn't just take one day at a time because I would have got here to this Wednesday and been extremely confused, frustrated or something because there's nothing that states what happened, but that's okay because now my panther side gets to <laughs> maneuver and, and, and fill in the blanks, but that is so wild. Something told me just check over that outline once more, check out a few days. So that's where we are now. So I'm going to get into it and uh, brush off those pantser skills and <laughs> see what we come up with but oh check your outline y'all <laughs> um, i logged about 16 1681 with this last spring um i'm gonna hit the 2k in no time but what i have discovered or learned or uncovered um it's really not even that it's not something i didn't know before but um, there was a sex scene that I wrote in the earlier part of this chapter and the issues or the insecurities that I have surrounding those scenes are pretty non-existent when I'm actually writing them. It's when you go to edit and like review and move things around and logistically put arms, legs and the like in the right places. <laughs> That's where it's like, Ugh. but I felt so confident and like comfortable with that scene. Additionally, the one that I just finished is with the um, main character, the third main character that I mentioned, I completely lost track of where they were on this following day. And so we're in the day before that, the Tuesday, and we are kind of setting the foundation for the things that will happen next. And even that was easy. Like, again, I, when you're writing and you're doing it and you're in there, 
it's nothing. It's when you take those steps away and then try to revisit it. So I'm hoping to truly do, if not 2K every day, something. Um, now I will say I'm always working on a project, be it adding notes, adding to the world, adding some back, like I'm, every day, I'm doing something. I have a note template that I'm constantly filling up, but like the actual drafting, the writing, um, that's something I'm trying to do every day because this sounds and feels like me, but having such a huge gap between writing sessions allowed that insecurity to, insecurity with the work to grow. Um, and doing this every day is really drowning out that those voices or that issue or that fear of not doing this right and that, so I, i'm just excited that this is done so we're gonna keep on going try to hit that 2k and then some and um i don't know happy writing y'all <laughs>